Hello Libra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Mwah. So for those of you who are continuing to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Per usual, I appreciate your presence, you guys. Thank you, thank you for all your support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe my video. Hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are uploaded. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome in. I am a psychic medium. I read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards, okay? I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I do uh, mediumship readings as well. I connect with people who have passed away, who have passed on. Um, and also pet mediumship readings for those of you who have pets who have passed away, okay? I am only offering right now, you guys, question-based readings just because I'm still catching up with my in-depth and I want to be fair to everyone and give you guys a great reading. Um, I will leave all my information in the description box. Don't forget, you guys, to check out my Instagram. I have testimonials, reviews. I do giveaways on there. I have one going on right now. Um, I do pick a card readings on there and I post manifestation tips using crystals and meditation stuff. Okay. Um, what else? And yeah, if you guys would like to donate, please do so. Um, I always appreciate, you know, any support, um, anything is literally appreciated. So I had a client tell me that, you know, they're embarrassed about giving me a certain amount and it's like, are you kidding me? I'm just appreciative that you guys would go out your way to do that. So thank you so much. So all that information is below. Okay, Libra, let's go ahead and do your love reading. What's going on for you guys in love? Libra in love. I'm hearing holding off. Some of you guys have recently paused a situation. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys are trying to get out of a situation with an air sign. I feel that strongly here, okay? Um, love. I feel like whoever this person is, I am feeling a strong air energy. This person is taking from you energetically. So Libra, love. Yeah, exactly, release, look at that. You guys are releasing this person. This is definitely a, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or I'm seeing a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but there is an energy here that requires assessment. Okay, let's get one more here. What's going on with love with Libras? There has been a lot, a lot of chaos with an air sign or a water sign for you guys. And I'm sensing almost like a desperation of wanting out of this connection. It has been like a spiral of back and forth, back and forth. And I feel at the end of the month, a lot of you guys are deciding to detach. If you live with this person, I'm seeing that you're actually going to, you're going to decide to like stay with a friend or you're moving away. Some of you guys want a new start. You just want a new start in love. Like the focus is just, you really want to start over. You want to start with a blank canvas. You're tired of a lack of abundance in a specific connection that you've been in or a lack of partnerships that are meeting you halfway, okay? Some of you guys have a strong, passionate desire to be with a fire sign here. Leo, Sag, Aries, like I'm seeing a lot of phone calls, like a lot of you guys may talk on the phone. I'm getting a vision of like 
like a not only a telepathic communication but phone calls like you guys are talking a lot i feel like some of you guys are like almost surrendering to the need to be with this person it's like there's a desperation here okay i don't know what it is libra maybe you let me know or this person is desperate to be with you but i'm seeing very desperate emotional phone calls here with the fire sign okay I'm hearing it's you at last. So maybe you guys feel like you really found someone who balances you out at the end of the month, okay? And I feel like you guys are making a strong decision to be with someone who makes you really happy. You want to be happy, Libra. You're ready for this. Some of you have children involved in this mix that is making this very complicated, Libra. Yeah, you guys, there is going to be, okay, you're going to get a lot of clarity surrounding a connection that you've already been in off and on. I feel like a truth is going to come into the light and a lot of you guys are not expecting this truth and it's going to really kind of like push you towards the person that you've been wanting to be with, which is, I feel strongly a fire sign. A lot of you guys may have been juggling two people or trying to decide between two people. And I feel like the truth is coming out about someone and it's really going to push you towards someone else because you're tired of going through something here is what I'm seeing. Maybe perhaps someone claimed that you were the child, I'm sorry, the father of a child or the mother of a child or whatever situation that you were the parent of someone who was pregnant and that wasn't true. And I feel like at the end of the month, this is going to really clear a lot of things up for you. Love for Libra, November 15th through the 30th. Love. Some of you guys are going to decide to run away, like run away. Literally, you're running away from your partner. I am seeing that some of you guys may even go to, um, it's like a, I'm seeing um, there's like a Ferris wheel or it's like a festival, like a fair where uh, there's that ride. I, I don't know what you guys call it. It's that ride that goes in a circle. Like I'm seeing like you guys are going to have very romantic dates. Um, with the person that you have decided to run off with, you're definitely running off with someone, Libra. Like, I feel like you can't take whatever's happening in your current relationship. You're, like, sick of it. And you guys are running off. And I feel like you guys are trying to relive your childhood. I feel like I'm hearing memories lost. So some of you guys feel like your childhood has been lost. Um, and you're trying to relive it with this person. You're trying to go back in time. Like, you feel like the cycle is not over. You want to go back to the times where you were... Um, with this person, Libra and Matters of Love, November 18th. I'm hearing balance, okay? Finding balance. Listen, um, Libra, there is a need. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that Some of you guys don't want to give up something that you know you need to give up. Okay? That's for some of you. Others, I feel like you're in a situation where you're torn between two people. One person that you really want to be with, that you have a lot of fun with. This person may be a childhood love or this person is a soulmate. And another person who um, is already in your life, but it's like this person that you're already in, like a relationship with perhaps, is a steady foundation. So you feel like leaving them wouldn't necessarily be the right thing to do. But I'm feeling like there is a choice that you have to make here between, I am getting a vision of a fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, and um, air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and some of you, for some of you, you're dealing with a water sign of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but there's a lot of decisions to be made here. 
there's going to be a lot of sneaking out here. So I don't know if you're sneaking out. Someone here is sneaking out to be together. Like you're going to sneak out to be with someone or this person is going to sneak out to be, you know, that sort of thing. Like there's some sneaking around. Maybe you feel like you got to do something behind closed doors because you're not allowed to kind of be open about this connection, okay? Some of you guys may be holding back communication as well from this third party. Like you may want to hold on. What I'm seeing, Libra, is that some of you guys or your person that you're dealing with is afraid of changing, of, of changing this routine. But there are affairs here happening, but you need to make a decision between one of these two parties. It could be the other person as well. It could be a water sign who's torn between you and someone else. But what I do feel is that you want a brand new situation because you do not feel abundant right now, okay? So what's coming in, what's coming towards you in love, Libra? I am seeing you're going to meet someone, again, this may still be that fire sign, but there's someone here who, with that ten of swords in reverse, you're healing, but there is someone here who's going to match your hustle. I'm hearing match your hustle. So I feel like this person that's coming in at the end of the month is going to match your hustle, meaning you've never met someone who's who's so focused. Like, I really feel that, okay? And I feel like it's almost like you guys are helping each other, you know, who's coming in for love for you, Libra. It's like you're going to help each other really, really um, expand on your business, expand financially. Who's coming towards you, love, Libra? So I feel like this is healthy for that. So, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a sense of like collaboration with the person that you're really loving. And I feel like that's a fire sign. This person is going to show you what it's like to invest in yourself. If you guys thought you were already creative, this person is going to literally grab your hand and show you how it's done. They could be a fire dominant and then they might have earth in their chart or vice versa, okay? So I do see a new beginning with this fire sign. Some of you may have to leave behind something that you've been holding on to out of safety, okay? So the decision is going to be up to you, my loves. Hope that resonates. Mwah. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment below. Bye.